This is the All Powers Bifold 100 watt panel. Let's take a look at it. So there's not a whole lot to this panel, which is actually pretty cool. Now, you take a look at it, bifold. The thing that caught my eye about this panel, even before the company sent it out to me, is the fact that it's relatively inexpensive. I do believe it is PET on here. You typically want to go with ETFE, but it's something to consider with a panel that's a, less than $150 in some cases. It does not have grommet holes on it. It has these little, uh, whatever these are, I forget what they're called, but they're little just loops or hoops. You can see that the panel kind of reminds me of the Agway panel that I looked at, which I believe was PET as well, which was also a budget friendly panel. This panel has this little back on here and inside, it does come with some accessories. They are not here at the moment. I'll grab them in a second, but it is an MC4 panel, which is pretty cool. So you can plug whatever cable you need to plug into this directly into MC4. You don't have to worry about adapters necessarily, but they do give you some options. Let's get those. The accessories are like the best part for me. <laughs> MC4 to Anderson, it has a pretty good length to it, which means I can use this on other power stations that may take an Anderson with this particular panel or a different panel. I like when companies give you slightly longer cables. It also comes with MC4 to 5521 and they even give you a few adapters you got eight millimeter here 5525 and then something that i don't remember <laughs> but this is a completely like well-rounded panel to say that it's kind of budget right we're gonna go set it up outside in a little bit to do some output tests but one thing that i don't like at the onset is how thin these legs are these legs are very slender <laughs> and they feel a little suspect. Um, the good thing is it's only a bifold, so you don't need to support a whole lot of weight of like a trifold or a quad fold panel, but still, I'd like to see these legs be a little bit thicker. Yeah, these legs are, it's Achilles heel. As I was putting them down, I was kind of flexing them out and you can see that they bend very easily. So it's like, you gotta pull on them from the bottom and be like really intentional. Cause this, this is a, yeah, I'm struggling with that one. But as I said, it's not much panel. So you don't have to, you, you don't need it to be super strong, but I mean, it's something to note. Super long cable. I love it. This is dope. <laughs> then we gonna pop an eight millimeter extension on it. Uh, eight millimeter adapter on it. I got a little haze, so I'm gonna wait for this haze to go by and then we're gonna do a little little testing. Got some decent sun back. It's not great, but it's good. And we're gonna try to whop this. <laughs> the oops first. Now you see that little bend in it? That's something that I pay attention to with these uh, flexible panels or folding panels as well. But admittedly, that's my thing. It doesn't have to be your thing. That's my thing. That's why I like the ridges, you know what I mean? All right, let's get to it. 60, 65, the sun is intensifying, so I can see it going a little higher. 65 watts, that's not a great angle. Let's get the angle a little better. That looks pretty good to me. You see those floppy legs? So cool, you see about 70, 73, 71. So I would say, I don't know if you could see that, but I would say this is typical output for possibly what I'm dealing with, which is what I'm dealing with is a little bit of haze right there over the sun. Um, so I'll wait and see if that clears and I'll keep monitoring it as the kind of Sunday goes on because it shouldn't take too long for that to clear. While we wait for the sun to kind of change, let's go try this one, which is the Acatel P501. I figured out which kind of thing that it takes and that's the adapter 55 to 6.3 or whatever it is. So we'll give that a shot. Okay, this one's back down to 56. That haze is still popping, but uh, let's unplug it. So it's at least comparable in that it's not differentiating between one power station or the other, right? So let's wait till uh, Mr. Hayes is out of the way and then we'll come check it again. 
So I'm back. I think I got a pretty good bead on the sun not having any haze around it. One thing you have to keep in mind is I am in PA. This is not Cali. <laughs> this is not Nevada. This is not Arizona and all that jazz. So I get what I get. <laughs> all right, let's look at it. I haven't seen much of a change though. So we're looking at, that's the problem with this freaking Ocotel. That's not a problem, this is annoyance. You can't turn the screen on without turning something on actually. That's why the light just came on. You can see, I'm seeing 63, 64. Now, I'm gonna give some perspective here, right? This is how I look at things as it relates to these folding panels. This thing is getting 60 watts. We've seen 63, 64. We've seen at least 70. I like this idea of dealing with a budget panel when that budget panel costs two dollars per watt for actual output instead of this idea of what are they advertise output so you look at this thing being like a buck fifty a buck seventy uh, maybe even a little bit less i've seen it a lot lower than that you're pretty much getting two dollars per watt for real watt and you could depending on where you are you could get more output than this i would assume that this panel is going to do about 80 watts which is typical for these 100 watt panels even for i mean i don't have no 100 watts ridges here but it's the same thing for the rigid ones i'm still seeing 64. let's switch it back over to the wapes the cheryl swoops over here yeah that's a kitchen plate right there thug like i need to get in your glare 61. now boom then you just come over wrap it up see the legs are a little yeah, you know I mean, a little dangly. That's what I like about these bifolds. You fold it, you get going. You get going. It also has a fully opening zipper, so that's pretty cool. Boom! There you have it. Just leave it there. It's a hot holler.